Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know, my name is Jamia. Jamia, period. No. My name is Jamia. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join the squad, the Jamia squad. Uh, make sure you turn your post notifications on so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. So guys, as you all can see by the title and by the thumbnail, um, how to do my thumbnail, that I, uh, this video is going to be how and why I started my hair business. So yes, for those of you who do not know, I do have a hair business. I sell bundles, I sell closures, frontals, and wigs. Um, everything on my site is, I mean, everything that I sell is on my website and it will be down in the description below. So let's just get right into it. So I, the reason why I started my hair business is simply because I love weave. I've always loved to wear weave. It's just, it just makes, it's just, it's just me. That's just what I like to do. Um, I'm not the type of person that likes to get out. I, I am natural. So, um, I'm not the type of person that likes to get up every day and do my natural hair. It's just too much and honestly too time consuming and I just really don't have time for it. But, um, yeah, so I started wearing weave when I was in high school. I started getting cool and minimum leave out. You know, I was getting right into the groove of it. You know, I loved it and I love having hair that was longer than mine. I mean, who doesn't? Anywho, not saying I don't got hair because baby, I zoom. Anyways. <laughs> But yeah, so I just was loving how having long hair and, you know, doing whatever I wanted to it. Um, so then I started to notice, you know, that I was getting heat damage because I was putting so much heat on my hair that was left out and I was starting to fry my ends. And I was like, you know, I have to do something about this. So I started doing my research and I, this is before I even knew about a closure. I had found something called a closure and I'm like, oh, what is this? You know? looking at the pictures online, you know, doing my research and I seen, you know, it protects your natural hair. And so when you get a closure sew in, all your hair is braided up. There's no hair left out. And I was just like, this is for me. Like this, this is for me. I loved it. I love not having my natural hair out, you know, and it got to the point when I did have my natural hair out that I had to cut off the burnt ends the front ends because I was wearing my natural hair out so much and putting too much heat on there. So I love the idea of having a closure and not having to put that much heat on my natural hair. It was just so convenient for me, you know, waking up, like I would, I would do curl my hair at night and then wear rods in the, uh, overnight and sleep in it and then wake up and just take the rods out, you know, style the head curls how I wanted to. And it was just, it just was for me, you know, then I was just, you know, I started to see all these different hair companies that, you know, sold hair and all this. And, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid to support people when I do love to support black owned businesses. But I was just thinking like, you know, I I feel like since I love weave so much, you know, I've experienced it a lot. I just feel like, you know, this is something that I want to do. I really have a passion for weave. Um, I love it. And I feel like, you know, I should... I should do it like I should sell it and that's just what I did so what I did I started researching you know looking online because you do before you start a hair business you have to do a lot a lot a lot of research like a lot so that's just what I did looked online you know how to start a hair business you know join groups and you know chatted along with some people throughout the line you know so then I started to search for a vendor you know, I looked online for a vendor and I had, I went through several vendors, honestly, until I found like, I found the one that was right for me and which I did. So, and that's another thing, guys, if you are starting a hair business or any type of business, do not tell who your vendor is. Don't, don't do it. It's just, you're not supposed to do that. Um, not, not throwing shade or nothing, but you know, some of us work hard for our vendors. You know, there are people who are around here selling vendors. And that's just something I feel like that wasn't for me and I did not do that. I didn't go buy a vendor from somebody when I just felt like, honestly, that's just lazy. Like this vendor might be good for you, but you know, it wasn't, what if it's not good for me? And I sit here and spent so much money on a vendor that you thought was good and I thought it was not good for me. 
me and my audience and me and my clients or, and customers and whatever. So I just feel like buying a vendor just wasn't for me. But if, if that's what you want to do, you know, feel free, girl, go ahead. But I didn't do that. So I actually searched and searched for my vendor. I went through so many vendors, trying out hairs, you know, what, trying to find which vendor was right, which did I like the hair? Was it good quality hair? Like all that is a lot. It really was a lot. And make sure you all that and when you're starting a hair company that you test out the hair, like making sure color the hair, dye the hair, you know, bleach it. Also, when it comes to finding a vendor, like think about is this vendor, you know, really, does this vendor have good communication skills? Can I, you know, talk to this vendor whenever I want to, you know, do we have a good relationship? You also have to think about those type of things too, because that is very important. So anyways, I had searched and searched and searched for a vendor and then I finally found a vendor. And so um, once I found one, I just started to, you know, test more of it, you know, wear it a little more. And the reason why I picked that name Shrina Glimmer is because it was something different. You know, I, I, you know, try to put together all these different names and ask my family members and friends for suge suggestions. Like, is this a good name? You know, I need something that will be out there that's different and that's something that nobody else would, you know, have. So I did that and I came up with Stranded Glamour. As far as my colors, my colors are like Tiffany blue, silver, and white. And I wanted to do colors that not a lot of people, you know, have. Like I see a lot of reds, I see a lot of pinks and purples. And you know, pink is my favorite color, but I'm just like, you know, I wanna try something new, something different that people don't have. So I came up with Tiffany blue, white, and silver. At first I had black, but then I had somebody tell me, you know, I think Mia, that's awesome. That's my nickname, guys, Mia. You know, I think silver or white would be better than black. And I, I also, I put those all three of those colors together along with the black. And I'm like, yeah, they, I agree. I like the lighter color sequence. And I found that that was for me. So once I found my colors, I was like, that's it. You know, I got the name, Strand of Glamour. And then I got the colors. Loved it. You know, found somebody to make my logo. Uh, loved it and I still love it but yeah so then you know I haven't been in the hair company I haven't been in the hair business too long but the people that are close to me know like how long I've been wanting to start my hair company like it took me I used to say this all the time like I'm gonna start a hair company I want to start a hair company it's, it had been years like I kept saying it I kept saying it and then 2019 last year I just kept saying you know what it's over like start your hair company like do it so i you know talk to my best friend and close family members and friends or whatever and i started my hair business and you know it's starting a business itself is a, is a lot you know it's really a lot and it really means a lot when you have people who actually support you you know um i it doesn't even have to be really necessarily buying my products of what i'm selling it could be you know sharing me on social media here and there and you know showing me that you actually care like it doesn't take it doesn't cost to support me online you know or support anybody you know that's just how i feel so you know um but yeah and it's it's actually been kind of rocky you know um a lot of people think and then that's, that's another thing a lot of people think you know starting a business is easy unless you have that platform you know built up already then cool it might be for you but, you know, um, I had to, you know, work hard and keep working hard. Like, I have to promote, like, every single day. I try to promote every single day for my customers. Try to come up with different ideas, you know, how to get my audience, you know, to come to me and support me. Um, but, you know, it can be a challenge. It's, it's a challenge for anybody that's starting a company, any type of company, selling any type of products. But, yeah, so... I made my website myself, literally. It took some time, um, you know, and it was it was different. It was This is all new, and it's still new to me to this day. But, you know, I just keep pushing every single day and keep trying because this is something that I really have a passion for. This is something that I love. I love, love, love leave. Like I said, I would rather, rather wear that than my natural hair. I know it's fun, it sounds crazy, but I really do love weave. Um, this is actually my hair. Sorry, I should have said this at the beginning. This is my hair. Good quality hair. Um, so, but yeah, um, I curled a little bit and it, the curls have fell. But yeah. 
So um, I just love weaving. That's just what my passion is for. So when you're starting a company, it's really difficult. You know, and I, I try not to discourage myself because that's just not who I am. And I try not to compare myself to other companies that are, you know, more experienced than me and have more customers or whatever, because I know eventually one day I will get there, you know, um, and I love what I do regardless. You know, I have people that support me and I have people that don't support me. But at the end of the day, I am going to keep pushing and keep doing what I love to do, which is selling hair. And, you know, if you want to start a business, don't get discouraged, you know, keep trying, keep pushing and, you know, you can do it regardless. You can do it. And that's another thing. A lot of people feel like when they start a hair company or any type of company, you have to have these thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Like it's good if you do, you know, or whatever. But me, I did not have that type of money when I started my hair company, you know, um, some people, when they start businesses, they don't have, they don't buy big bulks of things of hair or, you know, eyelashes or whatever, lip glosses. They don't, some people don't buy big bulks. Some people, you know, do order where you, we have to pre-order and that's really just, you know, having customers go online and, you know, purchase hair or whatever. And then you ship it that way and pre-order and they're just pre basically ordering, you know, ahead of time. But yeah. And yes, it's just different ways. Like you don't have to have all these thousands and thousands of dollars to start a business. And um, I just wish people would realize that you do have to have some money. You can't just come in broke and be like, you have to have money for um, promoting. I mean, well, really, you know, having a website and, you know, if you want to get a logo made. And I honestly think when you start a hair business or any type of business, you should have a logo made. There are so many people in this world that are scamming you know, selling people's photos. And that's another thing, you know, I don't want to get too in depth of this because that can be for another video. You know, how to, you know, different entrepreneur um, things you should do when you're, entre different things you should do as an entrepreneur. And that could be a video that I would talk about. But really what I was trying to say is just that make sure when you're posting something of yours and it's your hard work, you know, if you make wigs or whatever, make sure you put your logo because people are scamming and stealing, you know, pictures and stuff like that. But yeah, and if you have any questions about, you know, what I should do for this video or for my next videos as far as entrepreneurship, comment down below. Comment anything, you know, that you want me to talk about and discuss, any questions. And also feel free to DM me um, as any questions. And also feel free to DM me um, at underscore underscore Jamesy. I just feel like, you know, this hair business means everything to me. It is my life. I love it so much. And, you know, I just keep pushing every day. Regardless, I prom I'll i promote myself, you know. Um, and I just, I just love weave. <laughs> it's just, I know, y'all. But, so, I have a task for you all. You are watching this video right now. Hopefully, I got a lot of viewers. But, if you are watching this video right now, please go ahead and follow my Instagram at strandedglamour underscore. Like us on Facebook um, and I'll do a giveaway. I'll do a free hair giveaway. Well, I'll think, I'll let you all pick. Should I do free hair get bundles giveaway or, you know, a wig? But in order for me to do this, I need at least a thousand followers on my Instagram in order for me to do this free giveaway. So share with a friend. Comment down below, tell your friends to shop, everything. And make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. So the rules of this is, in order for me to do this hair giveaway, you must be following Stranded Glamour and share with some friends. Like us on Facebook, you know, get me, you know, get the name out there. Help me out, you know, and I will do a free hair giveaway. So yeah, um, if you all want to start a business, please go for it, like, please go for it. You know, um, there are a lot of people who want to start a business that are scared to, or just feel like they don't necessarily have the money, but I think you should go for it. You don't have to have a thousands of dollars. So remember that you don't have to have a lot of money to start a hair business, but you need to at least have some. And I just feel like if you really want to do this, if your mind is made up and you have this mindset to do this, you should go for it. Like this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I love it. 
Um, I'm still growing as a company, me and my company still growing, you know, but I love doing what I do. Um, so yeah, if you want to start a hair business, comment down below what kind of hair business or what kind of business you want to uh, start hair, lashes, lip gloss, cosmetics, you know, anything, any type of business you want to sell. And you know, uh, sorry guys, it's like I have to sneeze, but yeah, do it, go for it. I think you should really go for it. So yeah, um, with that being said, go ahead and like this video, give it a fat thumbs up, um, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join the squad. And um, yeah, and don't forget the giveaway. Do not forget the giveaway. In order for me to get a thousand followers, I mean, to do this giveaway, I have to have a thousand followers, guys. So shout me out and share my page. Thanks for watching. Peace out.